A California man is on a mission tonight. Among clutter in a truck set for auction, he found a journal there. Now he's searching for the family to give them back this treasure. Ryan Hill has our story. People will look at it and be like, man, that's just a book, it's just a diary, it's just pages, but it's what's written in it. Luis Martinez is reading a precious journal, but it doesn't belong to him. He found it a couple of weeks ago at the car auction facility he works at in a truck set for the auction block. There's a bunch of trash in it, and this was sitting right there on the seat. So I grabbed it, I started looking through it. Page by page, he found out the journal belonged to a Lola Maxine, writing to someone irreplaceable. She starts writing to Arabella Rain, which is her granddaughter. The words cut deep in all the right ways. It just starts with my dear little hummingbird. I felt like writing to you today. Although we are miles apart, I hope I can feel healthy for a while so I can write several letters to you. Martinez thinks the woman who put pen to paper has passed, considering she was 91 while she was still penning the letters. Here, it's uh, 4 3 13. And she says, Hi, sweetie. Oh, how lonesome I am to see my baby. I even dream about you. He found phone numbers in the journal trying to return it to the family. I'm hoping that someone actually sees this and they're like, Wait a minute, I know who that is. But isn't having any luck finding someone who knew Grandma Lola's words? Always be faithful, sweetie, to everyone. Being a smarty won't get you nowhere. He may not be able to turn the page and find the family of Lola Maxine, but Martina still wants to close the book on his search. She's probably seen pictures of her grandmother, but for her to actually get word, something physical from her, that'd be really cool. Hope he finds her. Well, Martina says if he can't find this family, he will still hold on to that journal.